Hello, I'm going to show you how to wrap a rat after it has been spayed. This is our little rat substitute because I'm not going to torture my rat by wrapping her more than she already has been. It's rat enough like. So the things you're gonna need are some sort of wrap. I like these because they're colorful. You can get them at CVS and they're pretty good strengths. I'm probably going to be using this one for demo purposes because I don't like this one. Um, for some reason, the colored ones stick a lot better and are just a little bit stiffer. Um, and the whole purpose of this wrap is basically to stop them from being able to bend over to like mess with their incision. That's going to be down here. So I'm going to be using this guy. Um, you're going to need a sterile gauze pad. This is like 12 ply, four by four. I can do this basically in one pad now. So that should be enough. Um, and additionally, I'll show you how to put on basically little rowdy pants um, with some, it's like a cloth tape. Again, all these things I got at CVS. Uh, some scissors, I have some like bandage scissors here. Um, and I ordered this on Amazon. It's a lot, uh, but it's, soft stretch bandage, it's like a cotton thing, um, about two inches wide. And this is huge, it's 25 yards, kind of excessive, but basically you'll be cutting uh, like a length about that wide of this. So that's basically all your tools to do this entire thing and it should work out pretty well. So first step, remove all this, just these guys. You got your little ratty here. You want to measure out, now it depends on how big your rat is. Um, I have like a little cage. This is about, I'm not sure, maybe like a foot or so. You just want it to be able to wrap around your rat a little over one time. So it goes over like so. And you want it to be kind of taut, not, not too taut. And I'll show that in a second but I'm just gonna show the prep work for this. So you want about two pieces of this length here. And these will be wrapping around the top half of their torso. And then you're going to need to make little straps. So basically we're making a small vest for the rat. These are gonna be mm, four inches long or so. Again, it's stretchy material, but you want it to overhang so that it will stick to itself. So you can just take one about that length and then cut it in half, like so. Those are all your materials you need to make the little vest. Then you wanna put the gauze on. So the reason we want the gauze is just to make it so it's soft. I've made this without the gauze and it will rub their poor little skin and their little fur. So if you just take this pad, again, you wanna also do this on a, like a cleaner surface or it will pick off all their hair and dust and stuff. You unfold the pad. That's about the length you're gonna want. So you could use this as like an indicator for about how long you want it to be as well. But I take the pad and I generally um, put this on top of the gauze first and just kind of stick it together because it will just stick to it anyways. Leaving a little bit of an overhang at the top here and you want both ends to be hanging out like so. It's just enough to kind of be able to stick to itself. Um, and this is just so that this edge will not rub on your rat. Cause that, that might rub away their fur. So you can take that and then just use it as a guide to cut off the excess. And you again want like a little bit overhanging on the edge here. Like so, and just place that down. And then you wanna do the same for the straps. Uh, again, I just use this and I cut it approximately like that. So you can see there's a little bit of edge that's able to come out on either side. Now you can 
do it like this um, and use the whole gauze, but honestly, half is fine too. Um, so just enough of a thickness. I would make sure there's a few layers, but the whole point is just to make sure it doesn't rub their skin. So just place that over the straps. And again, you can trim off the edges. It just, again, it, by trimming the edges, you just keep it from catching on things. Like so. A little bit on each end there. And place that down. And you want to prepare all of this ahead of time because your rat is not going to sit still. It's a rat. So my girls are really wiggly. One's a lot better than the other in terms of getting wrapped. Um, but one's better at keeping it on than the other one, so go figure. All right. You'll have this left over. You can save this in case you need to cut more straps. Uh, sometimes they'll fold over and get wrinkled if your rat's really, really wiggly. So you can just kind of set that to the side. But basically, that's all you're really going to have left over for trash. Okay. Now you do this portion of making the vest, putting the vest on. I mean, hold your rat how you gotta hold your rat, but the first step is taking this one, putting the soft side onto their skin, and you wanna wrap it around over like that, and then over like this. And then just to make it a little bit taut, I'll pull and make sure that's stuck on. So when you actually have this on, you want to make sure you can like get a finger under there just to make sure it's not too tight on them. If you think it's too tight, just quickly unwrap it and restick it. You're going to be putting on the straps and then a secure bandage to make sure the straps stay on over top so you'll be able to tighten it a little bit more there. The point is not to make it super tight. The point is just to make a stiff uh, wrap around here so that when they are attempting to bend over to get to their incision, they can't fully bend to get to it. So it'll just kind of stop them. But they'll still be able to move their arms and they'll still be able to get around. Uh, they will be pretty awkward at first. Sometimes they'll do that thing where if you put them in a wrap, they'll just kind of flop there and act like they can't move. Um, but this has worked really well for, for both of my girls. So I'm doing this very slowly because I'm doing it on a stuffed animal. You're gonna wanna do this really quickly uh, because they will wiggle out of it. Maybe the first time they won't know what's going on so they'll be nice to you, but that's, that's not the case for my girls. So for the straps, the way that you wanna apply them is you kinda wanna make an X. So you put one over top like this, secure it on this side here, wrap it around the arm, try to make sure that all of the uh, gauze all of the padding is touching the skin and try not to get any of the actual wrap on the skin so it doesn't rub away. You're gonna wanna try to hold it there and keep it there while you put on the other one. Again, making kind of like an X here, overlapping it, wrapping it around the other arm and then securing it on this side. This is not sturdy enough. This will come off and they'll wiggle out of it very quickly. You should still be able to, they should still be able to move their arms around and get around. They'll probably hold them forward kind of awkwardly at first. But when, when it's like this, quickly, but gently, of course, secure on the straps with an additional wrap here. So, do that. Over. You're going to go around. Make sure the ends of the straps are being wrapped up. Be careful not to get the wrap on the armpits. You want, again, want to make sure that the uh, padding is the thing that's sticking out to make sure that you're not rubbing them. So wrap it around. You can have this one be a little extra long because um, it gives you a little bit more security in terms of being able to like slowly tighten it. And then if it fringes at all while they're like moving around and stuff, you can always cut it off because once it's kind of like out and about and has a bunch of dirt on it, it won't stick very well. Again, this particular wrap, um, this is 3M uh, and it's like the nude color. Probably fine for people, not so great for furry creatures. Uh, this is just for demo purposes. Again, you're gonna probably, I would recommend getting, this one is the CVS Health one and they have cute colors. 
There's also like a blue and a green, but I like the pink and the purple. So that's the vest portion. And then you have a little vest. Um, the worst things that will happen here probably are maybe a strap will come loose and come, come out. If that happens, you can likely kind of tuck it in and slip it back in. Um, but if you've, if you make them long enough and you can always make them a little bit longer, if you feel like they're more likely to slip out, just as long as they're under here and overlapped, you have it secured with this additional wrap. So this is enough to keep them from being able to bend. I can't even get my stuffed animal to bend. To bend to get to their incision, which will be down here. Um, you want to try to make sure that this isn't too close to their incision. This isn't, this is a stuffed tiger. It's not a rat. So uh, it's kind of further down than it would be on a rat. But kind of try to pull it up and make sure it's right under their armpits when you're doing that. But that's enough uh, of a secure bandage. What I've additionally done for my rats is I have like an iodine patch that goes over their incisions for uh, making sure there's no debris that can get into there. But then I have an, another additional layer that I do, which I call ratty pants. Um, so you take the, this is when you take the stocking, stockinette, and you just pull it out and you cut it. Uh, depending on how long your rat is, I have one rat that's not as long. Uh, one rat that's a little bit longer. Cut it longer than you think it'll be. Um, you're pretty you're pretty safe. Just kind of like leave your rat. They're gonna be confused um, and not very mobile. You can take the stockinette, and the way that I cut it is, it's basically here. Cut it here and here for the little feet. So just a little bit up so that it doesn't rip off. Cut here. And it doesn't need to be so small. The point is not to make them immobile. The point is just to cover that incision. So you can make it a pretty long cut. So their feet might come out. My girls slip out of it pretty often, actually. But the thing is that they accidentally slip back into it. Because, again, it's not about, like, the first part is about securing them and, like, kind of confining them and not allowing them to get to the incision. This one is just, a, like, a soft cover. Um, to avoid if they're walking around and their belly is rubbing in their poo or pee or crumbs or whatever else they have in their cage, just covers it up a bit. So these are the little back leg holes. And then I additionally cut up in here, like so, for them to be able to pee and it not just immediately get all over this. They might pee on this. This is something that you can change independently. Uh, more often, usually at least daily, without having to change the vest out. I've kept the vest on for like a week um, and then usually change the vest out just so that they can kind of like, with monitoring them clean themselves and like scratch off their fur or whatever that's under there, it's kind of itchy. Um, but I change these out daily. Uh, the best way to put this on a rat, do not, you can't put them on like pants. You got to put it over their head. So you want to make sure it's facing the right direction. Put it on like this. They're not going to know what hit them. Uh, and then you have it like this. You're obviously not going to hold your rat like this. You're probably going to hold them downwards. But for demonstration purposes, I'll show you. You're going to take their little feet one by one, little foot through. Oh, okay. Well, this stuffed animal has much larger feet than a rat, so I'm going to cut this a little bit larger for the demonstration. However big your rat's feet are. Put them through the hole one at a time, and they're going to try to slip out. You're going to want to probably hold the back end and just pull it up while you get the other foot in. And then get their other foot in, like so. Hold it up. Uh, they're not going to be happy at this point. <laughs> try to tuck it in. Kind of let them rest here. I think you should give them rest points after the vest. Once you've gotten it to this point, and then after you finally secure it, uh, the pants on. So as they're taking a little break, just watch them. You can also prep this beforehand. It's just a little bit harder because it's tape. You're going to want to measure out tape that you think about will go around the rat. Um, at the very least, one full time th around. I'm not sure if this will work for the stuffed animal, but this is a, like a fabric 
tape. Um, I tried paper tape and it does not stick very well. This is the only one that sticks well. So you can, you kind of want to keep this tucked up because this is how it kind of, this kind of helps it stay up, but you'll probably untuck and you'll have a little ratty running around like this. So this doesn't slip back out. If it slips off, again, start from the top. Um, but if you manage to keep them in their pants for this time, if it's too long, you can try cutting it. Um, when I've made it too long, I just fold it down because I'm not going to accidentally cut around my rat. want to be safe. This is kind of what the pants will look like. And you'll see there's like a little section. It kind of goes up so that they can pee. Kind of like you see with like puppy pants and stuff like that. Um, you'll want to take this tape and secure it around the edge here. Uh, try to place it in the middle. That one wasn't as great, but something more along the lines of that. And you want to make sure that it can go all the way around so that it's overlapping or it's much more likely to kind of flick out and come off. So this is also plenty secure. Like at this point, you're good. Their legs might slip out. You can help them put it back in. They'll probably put them back in. If they're not able to slip back in, your leg holes aren't long enough. And then if you have bandage scissors, you don't have to take the whole thing off again. Very, very carefully. See if you can like snip it open a tiny bit just so that their leg can easily slip in and out. All this does again is just cover up uh, where their incision would be, which is right here. If they ha additionally have some sort of bandage, that'll be very helpful as well. But this prevents them from being able to get to it. And it's got one to two layers of protection over top of it from debris, uh, which can cause potential infection. Now, one additional thing that I do sometimes, at least at first, because rats are special and very good at getting out of things, um, is I put an additional layer of bandage over top of that. Now, if you do this, you've really got to make sure that you leave some stickiness here. And you, again, have to be really careful to not put it directly on their little armpit um, so it doesn't rub. But you can wrap this or do one more wrap around here like so. And you're going to want to monitor them to make sure that they really can't bend down. If they can, you can do exactly what I just did. And it will slowly stiffen the bandage to the point where they, they won't be able to bend down. Now, this is so stiff, I can barely bend my stuffed animal. Like, it's, it's, not, getting, it's not getting down there. The sad part about this is they cannot clean themselves basically anywhere around here. So you're going to have to make sure you tidy them up. Um, sometimes they can get to their little feet, which is good. So they can clean out their toes. They can still pretty much get to their tail. They will be able to move their arms. Um, they can, they're going to have to balance themselves and their back feet to eat and to clean their face and everything. It's going to look awkward. They're probably going to fall over. They'll be okay though. Um, it's not fun. You don't, I don't like having them in the vest, but it's better than them opening an incision from a surgery they just had. Um, yeah, that's the little vest.